Hi students, welcome to Competitive Exams Material YouTube channel. So, in this video, I am going to explain one of the important Java coding interview question. How to find first non-repeated character from a string? How to find first non-repeated character from a given string? So, actually we can solve this program, uh, program or problem in many ways. So, I will be explaining you three different approaches how to solve this program or solve this problem. So today I uh, will see the approach one in this video. So before going through the steps, okay, I'll explain you the logic and how it works and then I will walk you through these steps. Okay, first assume that given, I mean hope first I'll try to explain what exactly the problem or program is about. So given the string is A A B B D E F. In this we need to find out first non-repeating character. So what is the first non-repeating character in this string? This is the string and the first non-repeating character is D. So the output should be T. We need to get output as D. Okay. So here are the series of steps and how are we going to achieve this. So for this what I am doing is first convert the given string into character array. Okay. First convert the given string A, A, B, B, D, E, F into character array. So when we split that string into characters we get like this. So A, A, B, B, D, E, F. In the next step, what I am going to do is, I am take, going to take linked hash map. Okay. So, why are we taking hash map? When do we use hash map in Java? So, if we want to store any key value pairs, okay. If we want to store any key value pair types of collection, we use linked hash map. Or sorry, we use hash map. And why, when do we use linked hash map? If we want to maintain insertion order, in that case, we use linked hash map. Hope now you understood what is hash map and what is linked hash map. Okay. So now let me explain the program. So I'll create a new linked hash map. So when I create a new linked hash map, will it contain any values? No, right? So what I'll say, I'll store this key values. So key will be character. Okay. And value will be the count. That means if you take a, I will store a as key and number of occurrences as 2. So, A will contain 2. Why? Because since in this complete uh, character array we have 2. Similarly, if we take B, we will be having 2. If we take D, it will have value 1. So, if you want to store key value pairs in collections, we use hash map. And uh, if I have to maintain the insertion order, insertion order means so whatever the order we insert in the same order we can get the values in that case we use linked hash map okay a2 b2 d1 okay hope you understand this why we are using hash map and linked hash map so now what i will do is i will iterate through this arrays okay i will iterate through this character array and i will store the values of a i mean i will store the values of characters and their occurrences so First, I will iterate and uh, I will iterate through this character array. If that character is already present in the map, then, then I will increment the value to plus 1. Okay. If it is already not present in the map, what I will do? I will just store value as 1. Okay. Hope you understand the logic. Let me explain you. So, first, I will start the iteration from this A. Now, I will store this value key as A and the value will be number of occurrences how many times we got it one okay so in the first iteration what it will happen a will be one okay now come to the second iteration so it will check in this map whether we have already a or not since already a is present what i will do i will get the value of a and increment it to plus one so what is the value of a when i say uh, get of a I'll get 1 so after that I will increment the value so now the a value will be 2 okay now in the third iteration I will store the value of b check whether already b is present in this map no since b is not there I will store the value as 1 okay now go to the next iteration check value of b is already present in this map or not yes b map in the I mean b is present in this map what I will do, I will get the value of this B. So, get of B will give you 1 and then add which will give you 2. 
and then now I'll take the value of D and check after this iteration first iteration you will have B once and then B will be 2 and then in the next iteration check D is present in this map it's not present so I'll store the value as 1 now in the next iteration check whether E is present in this map or not no it is not present okay store this value and the value will be 1 key is E value is 1 okay now in the next step what is the last value final value f and the check whether already f is present no right since f is not present i am adding this f to the map and storing the value as one okay so since this is a linked hash map what i will do is i will iterate through this map and check wherever i have one coming okay since i have uh, one at this place at the first first occurrence i will print this okay so this is how uh, we write i mean this is the logic hope you understand the logic let me walk through the steps so first first get character array from the given string this is the first step convert the character array into given string then build linked hash map with character as key and their count as value so take a linked hash map uh, with character as key and value will be count so uh, how will it be linked hash map of char comma okay integer i'll be taking in the next step loop through linked hash map to find an entry with okay sorry to kind uh, to count as a value if a key already exists increment the value else store one that store one for that corresponding key so in this map you will check whether uh, we have that key or not if that key is present store that key else don't uh, store that key in the next step look through the linked hash map to find any entry with value 1 so this is the linked hash map iterate through this map and find the value 1 so whenever you find the value 1 just uh, come out of that loop and print the value okay so this is how we write the program this is the first approach but there is a problem with this approach so what is the problem we'll see complexity so bad part of it is it requires two iteration why it requires two iterations first one is to check uh, to store the character and its count okay in the first iteration what i will do we will iterate through the complete character array and store its key and value and in the second one what we will do is if there is a one we again will iterate through the map if there is a one what we will do we will print that value okay second one is proportional to the number of duplicate characters in the string in worst case where string contains non repeated character at the end it will take 2 into n time to, to solve this problem okay since we have okay if we take this map when we iterate this map if we get the value of 1 at the third iteration will come out of this uh, map and will print the value assume that if we have 1000 elements and the non repeating character is at the end suppose at the thousand element what we need to do we need to do 999 iterations so the performance will be very bad and it is it will take 2 into n time to solve this problem okay so this is the problem with this approach but anyhow i'll explain you the code and uh, show you the demo of how to write this program and uh, okay with the, with the help of output and i'll be even debugging the code okay so this is the first approach in the next videos we will see the remaining two approaches okay so let me come to the first approach as i told you first what i will be doing i will be converting this uh, to the character array string dot to char array and then what i will be doing so uh, before even going to that part uh, let me explain you from the starting so first i have created a class called non repeated character demo in that i have taken two methods okay one is main method and one is the method which we will be placing all our logic to find the non repeated character in the main method i will call this other method which will give you the get first non repeated character and i will print that character okay so main method will not have anything just we are calling that method and printing the value okay so coming to the guest get first non repeated character So what we will be doing is map character comma integer 
count map equal to new linked hash map character comma integer str dot length okay first i am creating a count map which will store character comma integer so now what i will be doing is at runtime only even before creating this character array so i am creating at runtime str dot two char array will give you character array so in this character array i am looping through each and every character so looping through each and every character and i am checking before putting in that map what i am doing whether that map contains that character or not if the map contains that character what i am doing i am incrementing the value of that key okay count map dot get of ch plus 1 otherwise i am just storing value 1 now what i'll be doing is for entry character of integer entry so i am looping through this count map finally once all the after complete iterating through the complete character array and after storing all the key value pairs i am iterating through this map and if i get the entry of if i get the value as 1 okay if i get that value as 1 what i am doing i am just printing entry i am just returning that character if i didn't find any of the character i am just throwing i didn't found any repeated character so hope you understood the logic so let me explain you this program in the debug method so that i can explain you the complete flow line by line okay so i am running this program in the debug mode so main method is the first entry for our program so you'll get this so first i'm what i'm doing i'm passing this value i'm passing this string a a b b d d e f okay and i'm calling this method get first non repeated character and then i'm coming into this loop i'm creating a count map so initially count map will be empty why because i'm creating new linked hash map and then i'm converting the string to two array so when i convert string to the array what will happen it will convert into array like this a a b b d f and then i am taking first character which is c h which will return you a so i am checking in this count map a is there or not so a is not there so what i am doing so contains key this will be true no right false so if true is there if contains key is true it will return this value if contains key is false we will return 1 okay so since contains key is false it will store value as 1 so i am just coming out of this now check the value of map what we will be having a equals to 1 this is what it's expected now uh, what i'll be doing what is the value of character now again what is the value of character the same a why because i took a a twice okay now what will happen count map dot get of c if count map dot contains key is it true yes it will return true because a is already present in this map so if already a is already present in this map what will happen it will get that value i mean get that uh, uh, key count and then we will be adding 1 so now what will be having in the map now it will be a equals to 1 after this line execution a will be 2 okay f6 now check the value of count map a is 2 perfect so now what is the third character third character will be b third character is what b this is the third character now check put the value of b check whether that count map dot contains key that means in the count map do we have b no right so it will be false so what will be storing will be storing value 1 okay now check the count map a will be 2 b will be 1 similarly continue with the complete iteration till the end of this array okay now come to this
So now finally I have it completed the character array, complete character array iteration. So now check the map. How will be? A value will be two, B value will be two, D value will be two, E value will be one, F value will be one. Okay. Now what our output should be? Output should be one. Okay. Now iterate through this map and check whether where are we getting this value one. Okay. In the first iteration A value will be two. Is it one? No, right? So I am looping through this map and I am getting the value. Is it one? And I am checking whether it is one or not. So for the first condition, what it will happen? First condition, it will fail. Okay, why? Because entry dot get value will be two. Entry dot get value. Entry dot get value means what? A ka A ka count. So the this is A's count, which will be two. Again, now it will not go into this condition. Okay. it will come to the it will come out of this condition and now next character is what b is the value of b count is 2 or 1 2 so will it go into this condition no now check the value of third iteration what is the third iteration a b d now check whether the value of d is correct or not 2 Why? Because I'm second. so whenever you find the value as 1 at that time you will be coming out of this loop since we added return statement so when you add return statement what will happen it will come out of this loop as well as this complete method so when it will come out of this loop when we have value as t which is 1 okay now i'm just entering now coming out of this now it came out of this loop and it printed now it printed d non repeated character is what d so when did it come out of the loop when the character count is 1 okay So hope you understand this program. Thanks for watching this video. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe and comment on my video if you have any question. Okay? Thanks for watching this video.